I love those guys. Okay. Good oh. morning. Day 49. Hi. Do you mind, Lab Rat? No, no, no. Good morning. <laughs> nice meeting you. And, yeah. Oh, we've heard about it. <laughs> I just tripped day 49. I did a bad job on that earlier video for day 49. I need to develop some professionalism. I just started recording and they didn't even know. So that was rude. But I'm here now, day 49. I'm going to take the layer off. Okay. All right, cool. And uh, I already took my raincoat off. KG method. Uh, I heard about some crazy stuff in my blog for tonight. I read this morning. There was a... Uh, I'll just stop walking here a moment because lightning is going to take off a layer. And, well, this morning, okay, so there's this, I guess I didn't tell any video about it. We passed a hiker coming to camp after leaving Sweetwater Venue. It's an awesome restaurant where we got cheesesteaks and burgers and macaroni and cheese and lemonade. I drank three refills of lemonade. And you see my eyes? That's what the down does to my eyes. Makes them squinty and puffy, but hiker trash uh, out here. So the, uh, I had lost my train of thought. So we drank three ice cold lemonades and went back outside and it was so cold. Our body core temperatures dropped a lot. We're like, we had to get out of here. And we ate town food yesterday, the day before. We ate restaurant food uh, yesterday at that sweet venue. And all that town food was screaming to move somewhere. So, uh, here, I'll stop here because Lightning's talking to its wife. Um, so, uh, we started moving fast to get warmed up again yesterday. And then we were in this open field. We were crossing open fields before we could get to the woods. It kind of happens that way when you get closer to towns like that. And we both had to use the facilities. And as soon as we hit the woods, we all like ducked behind our own trees, our choice trees, and uh, did our business in a hurry. Thank goodness we made the woods. Because open field cat holing, not a good idea. So anyway, while we were walking to our camp, like a five miles, six miles, I don't know, 6.7 I think it was from Sweet Venue, Sweetwater Venue. We passed a hiker going southbound who warned us about this vagrant hiker who's stealing from people's packs at shelters at night. And he warned us he was up the trail as we were going north. And he was drinking beer and he takes his beer cans and sticks them on the end of twigs and they're like, or throws them in the ground. So we passed this trail of beer cans and then we passed him. We tried to be friendly but yet not talk to him very much. And that was kind of odd, but... So we got, we did three more miles after we passed him, hoping he wasn't going to follow us and where we were camping. Luckily, when we got to camp, there was uh, another camper, a tenter, a hiker, whatever. He's a section hiker. His name is Englishman and he had a dog, big white husky named Alice. So we we're thrilled that we had company at the campsite area we were at. And... Uh, later on that night when Lightning and I were already, I think about seven, we already climbed in our tents. It gets cold and you climb in your sleeping bags. And, uh, <laughs> in rolls Hillbilly, which is what he's going by now. And, uh, yeah, so he was talking with the Englishman. And apparently the Englishman was saying this morning, he told us that he was telling him how his dog, you know, will be safe tonight. Keep the bears away, blah, blah, blah. And so the hiker moved on, the vagrant hiker. We passed him this morning, when we think, in a hammock uh, on the trail. So hopefully he doesn't keep following us. We're going 17 miles with a ton of ascent, 5,100 ascent today. Although the mountain I just climbed, those I can do all day. Because they are not straight up. Those straight up pops are horrid like yesterday. The pops were short, but so steep. They just kill my butt, and my breathing gets out of out of sorts, and I can't get enough breath. I have to stop and catch my breath. But on this up, it was a longer up, but I was strong the whole way. There's something weird happening. Sorry, we heard, saw some deer back there. I keep hearing noises in the back woods. 
Oh, which brings me back to this morning. It was like five o'clock. I heard some rustling in the woods. It was a quiet night. The moon was shining so bright. It was so pretty shining through my tent. It's kind of magical. Anyway, um, <laughs> sorry. <sighs> anyway, I heard the noise. So I was like laying there, just wondering if I'd hear it again. And I didn't. And at 5.33, there's the, the noise got like something was walking beside my tent. And so I sat straight up and said, hey, really loud. <laughs> and then I heard the bells. It was Alice, the husky dog, wandering around the camp. <laughs> so Lightning was tenting right beside me. He goes, what? <laughs> and I said, I'm sorry. I thought that dog was that guy. <laughs> I woke the whole campground up, probably. There's another hiker came in, Labrat. He was in his hammock. We all kind of tended close to him, slept close together so we could have safety in numbers in case that guy would come back. We all slept with our packs in our tents. And shh, I, we slept with our food too. We thought he might try to steal our food. So with the dog there, we felt like that we were pretty safe. So that's a long talk about day 49 so far starting. And no special treats on this trip today. No special restaurants we pass. So we might be able to eat some food out of this heavy pack. Because my feet are like tingly. Like one foot is tingly. It's a little. Like it feels like. Yeah, I don't know what's the difference. I need new shoes. So I have some at home. I don't know if I should get them mailed. Or wait till Daleville. Which is nine more days. Yeah I should probably just. I can wait nine more days. No problem. Okay I would do that. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud through that. It's a great day today. I'm already in short sleeves. I started out with frigid cold fingers. They're red and so numb. And once you go uphill, it's over. You're sweating. So today is supposed to be a high in the 60s, maybe even hit the 70s. And we're going to be drenched in sweat because we're used to hiking in the 30s, maybe 40s lately. So, Thanks for following my journey, those of you out there. It's quite epic time. Lots of time to think. And I'll let you know how I do on all these ups today. 5,100 up. Whoo, baby. Okay. Check out this view as we do this field walk. Oh, cool. So neat. So sometimes we have to cross these. I don't know what you call them. Fences. To keep their... Livestock penned in, I guess. You ready? Yep. So that's what you had to do. Cool. So I just, the trail goes by that picnic area there. And I'm walking this little road walk without my pack. Wow. Lightning uses the privy back air. I'm gonna buy sell some soda. Yeah, it's getting warm already completely soaked on my back and yeah it's probably like only 50 out so far wait, wait till it gets to like 70 uh -huh. going to the bear garden hostel or something if i can buy a soda all right you see this long switch back i'm going down this mountain i just climbed up six only 600 elevation in a mile and a half but over there can you see there's lightning walking. So it's cool how you wrap around and you see them on the other side. So it's fun. So we end today's, what's left of today's hike anyway, is really is a river crossing, Lick Creek, I think, or something. And it can be dangerous, but today is, people have been saying it's fine. You actually have to take your shoes off or, or uh, socks, you know, get the weight across it. So I'm interested in doing that. Pretty excited. They have a, a rope, I guess, that you can hold on to as you're going across. But. Okay. So I just got done with a mile and a half up over a mountain and then on the other side of the mountain. I'm going down about the same mile and a half. At the bottom is, I believe it's Lick Creek, and it's going to be a river crossing. And you have to take your shoes off and actually... Uh, wait across it and there's a rope apparently so sometimes it's too dangerous to cross but it's fine currently today 
So we'll be doing that. And then we have a, like a six mile up to our shelter where we're staying. So maybe we'll actually have signal up there. And I can upload my blog before the next day. But not like that's super important. What's important is that my backpacking playlist works for me to go up those six miles. Is that's gonna be a, a hard last six miles of the day. But I can do it. So, so this is Lake Creek. Later. There's the bridge that's washed out and there's the river crossing. So I guess the rope is over here. Oh, that's easy peasy. Awesome. There you go. Okay, it's gonna be cold as ever. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. Scream, yeah. Stay away from the big rocks. They're slippery. They are slippery. This feels like glacier water. Well, I'm nearing the end of my really big six mile climb. And I'm on top of some type of field, bold, I don't know. But, wow. So pretty got like a mile and a half to go and I gotta get water too so is this not oh a sight for sore eyes whoa baby I made it and carrying my water too from the previous water source yeah boy hope lightning's here not worried about me and looks like there's a cool view over there awesome so this is uh, steel enclosed with a door shelter that we're staying in tonight. And it seems like we lost most people. Here's the door in the Marion and the Alpaca Hostel Farm. So it's just lightning and eye tonight. So I already cooked up dinner, took the food out so the mice don't enjoy it. And yeah, time to get snuggled up in a bag. This is chilly in this stone 